Space Rogue. That's right, it's tool time again. First, the updates. John the Ripper reduced its Des S box gate count by 17%. WhisperCore added selective permissions for your data. The Social Engineering Toolkit Convergence Edition has been released. Metasploit picked up password stealing mods and 11 new splits. Packet Fence had a minor update focused on stability. Sam Hain was updated. Who knows what they changed? They won't say. WANWARE has pushed out a bunch of forensic tools. Network Scan Viewer worked out a bug with database dupes. Prefetch Forensics picked up improvements to its sort capabilities. USB Device Forensics parsing now includes the Ready Boost. And Chrome Forensics now handles history index files. One final update. Mona is officially replacing PVE Find Adder. It's a complete rewrite with lots of new features, so all you Canvas heads can get excited. Long live to Mona. And now, into the fresh. Getting back to Metasploit, if you had written a module for Rapid7 open source Metasploit project in the past, you might have received a public thank you or your name in the credits, but now you might just get some cold hard cash. Rapid7 has announced its Exploit Bounty Program, which will award part of a $5,000 cash pool to anyone who writes a module from a specific list of exploits. So now, two weeks of hard work writing code can get you a whole 100 bucks. I guess it's just a Google sort of week. They released Dom Snitch this last Tuesday. Dom Snitch is a Chrome browser extension that works by injecting hooks into a web page that signal when the page interacts with browser features that can be manipulated in an attack. Groovy. Then we found this post about AndroGuard being up on Google Code. AndroGuard, or AndroidGuard, is primarily a tool written in full Python to play with .class, .dex, APK, JAR, and Android's binary XML. This is useful when you would like to do reverse engineering on a specific application, whether it be malware analysis or penetration testing. Awesome. Fuse4x implements a mechanism that makes it possible to implement a fully functional file system in a user space program on Mac OS X, 10.6 and above. It provides an API compatible with the Fuse file system in user space API that originated on Linux. Therefore, many existing Fuse file systems become readily usable on Mac OS X. Superb. Backtrack VPS launched its public beta. Sign up if you like at hackingmachines.com. Ironically, Komodo, of all people, announced a beta release of its SSL Analyzer, a free website scanning tool which provides an instant summary of web server security levels. After typing a domain name into the search box, the SSL Analyzer will visit the specified domain and present the validation level of the certificate. The strength of the digital signature and the number and type of enabled cipher suites supported by the web server we took a look and it seems more comprehensive than say SSL Digger. Check it out. BESQL BF version 2.7 is now available. What is BESQL BF? Why, blind SQL brute forcer, of course. The new version supports the no match switch, which will look only for the supplied unique keyword, which only appears in the false page and not in the true page. Neat. That's it for this week's Tool Time. Join us next week for our salute to Tools Watch.